Representative who accepted bribes is sentenced to two years in federal prison. Ty Cullen tearfully apologized in court. Daryl Huff tells us why he got a reduced sentence. The main question going into today's sentencing was how much lower Ty Cullen's sentence would be than Senator Kalani English, who actually took less money than Cullen. Cullen arrived at the federal courthouse with his attorney after admitting he took $30,000 in bribes over about five years while serving as vice chair of the House oh, Finance guys. Committee, power he used to help wastewater company owner Milton Choi, whose bribes were recorded by the FBI. In court, Cullen was tearfully remorseful. I apologize to the people of Hawaii and will work my life making this wrong right. Thank you. He faced a sentence similar to former Senator Jay Kalani English, who got 40 months for taking about 10,000 from Choi. Cullen had supportive letters from friends and family, including Kauai Mayor Derek Kawakami. But more importantly, prosecutors recommended 16 months less than English for cooperating in investigations against others. We felt that it warranted the motion that we filed, and, uh, and we're hopeful that it will result in, in, in more prosecutions. Judge Susan Oki Mowe accepted the recommendation, although she called Cullen's behavior a grievous breach of the public trust motivated by greed, and it stretched out over years. But she said, to your credit, you've accepted responsibility and expressed remorse, which I believe is genuine. She gave Cullen 24 months and a $25,000 fine, pleasing the state's ethics director. The public corruption uh, crime that was committed shook the foundation of our democracy. Um, so, you know, I appreciate that it was a significant sentence. I do think it is a good deterrence. And apparently not the last case. The type of assistance we got from Mr. Cullen was the type that uh, was of assistance to us in building cases, possible cases for the future. As mysterious as he was about future investigations, the prosecutor in court did say that these cases revealed a seamy underbelly of corruption all too common in Hawaii government. Reporting from federal court, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.